The Achilles heel in a low voltage lighting system is often the type of connection chosen. Back in the days of halogen, you wanted to use a robust, tight wire connection that minimized the occurrence of low grade arcing, which often melted down the wire connection. Now as you move more towards the LED products, you want to use a high grade, high quality connection to ensure that moisture doesn't get into the system over time. Let me show you how to make a proper wire connection. Today what I want to illustrate is the crimp canister style of wire connection. It's easy to use, it's easy to install, and it's one of the least problematic connections that we have available. So what we do, we strip our wire back. On the bottom of the connection, there's three holes. These holes allow for the wires to insert up from the fixtures and the feed coming in. We also have a third hole if this was an inline connection and we're continuing on to another fixture. This being the end fixture, this is the last connection. Now you need one connection for hot and one connection for common. Got ribbed on ribbed. You got to be careful, you want to always be careful that you don't strip any of the wire strands out, the individual wire strands. So now, now that we've got our wire stripped, we fan them out and integrate the individual wires together. We call this making the butterfly. What I like to do on the end of the run, on the last fixture, is fold that wire over rather than cut it off to give me the maximum amount of copper I can shove into this crimp sleeve. Okay, it's a nice, neat finish. Now this is the Buchanan C24 crimp tool. It's made specifically for a crimp canister type, type connection. What it does is this canister, this crimp tool, squeezes on all four sides at one time, giving you one of the tightest connections you're gonna have available to you in low voltage lighting. This is a bulletproof connection. Now what you can do is come back with the gel. This is a gel filled canister, okay, and has little ears, little tabs on it. And there's a groove on the inside of the canister that seals this connection. So once we know our voltages are correct and we're ready to bury the connection, we just push this connection in, those ears lock in and won't allow the connection to be pushed back out. That's a quality connection.